What? You're the one watching videos about people taking things out of cardboard boxes. Weirdo. Okay, I'll show you what's in the box. So the first surprise is that the engine arrives in a cardboard box and not in a wooden crate. Not a big deal perhaps, and it's a fairly substantial cardboard box, but I kind of expected that it that it would be in a crate. The engine itself is wrapped in a plastic bag to protect it, uh, and also to stop it from leaking any of its fluids. Uh, it does come with the rotary valve gear oil already in. It comes with some stickers, which obviously eases the blow of the £4,500 price tag. It comes with uh, some paperwork, including an engine manual and an engine logbook. One of the nice things about Rotax is that they make all of their manuals um, available for free on their website. So if you go to the Fly Rotax website, you can download everything, including all of the service and installation manuals. Uh, I'll link to that down in the description. And it also comes with this little box of goodies. So in the little box of goodies we have a pair of Bing 54 carbs, uh, we have a engine driven fuel pump, we have a couple of connectors that you'll need to connect the engine into the aircraft loom and we also have the hardware that you'll need to, uh, to assemble the engine. So out of the box the engine comes fitted with its ignition, and of course it's dual ignition on the 582. And it comes with four spark plugs. These are the new type spark plug uh, that all Rotax engines now use. So it's a common plug between 582, 912, 914, 915. The downside to that is that these plugs are about five times more expensive than the old two-stroke plugs. Um, what's missing from the box? Uh, there's no cooling system at all, so no cooling pack, no radiators, no hoses, apart from the uh, bypass hose that runs from the head down to the water pump. Um, the starter is a pull start, so there's no electric start. That is an option, but it's quite an expensive option. Um, I'm going to be fitting an M5 starter to this engine, uh, so I'll be doing another video about that later on. Um, there's no gearbox. Uh, all Rotax engines run with a gearbox in between the engine and the propeller. Um, there's no exhaust system, so no manifold and, and certainly no system. Um, and no, uh, no air filter. The 582 as standard has uh, an injection oil pump on it, so there's no pre-mixing anymore. Uh, but that does mean that you're going to need an oil tank, uh, and the, the, the Rotax tank is £190. The good news is that if you're upgrading, so if you're swapping from a 532 to a 582, or indeed if you're coming from a, an older model silver top 582 to the new uh, blue top 582, then all the parts are interchangeable, so you can reuse your cooling pack and your gearbox and engine mounts and, and so on. I bought this engine from CFS Aero in Coventry. They were very efficient. Uh, they had the engine on the shelf uh, and I basically had it the next day. Delivery was quite expensive, uh, £145 uh, from Coventry to Wales, but I guess it's a fairly heavy parcel. I'm going to be fitting this engine to my CFM Streak Shadow, uh, so I'm going to make a, a series of videos about that process. Uh, and those will be coming up in, in the next few weeks. So if you want to be kept updated and you want to know when those come out, don't forget to like and subscribe and apparently ring the little bell.